Hello, everybody. Welcome to Midlife Rookie. Today, we're going to do something different, which is reviewing Mersal, which is a 10 million movie hit by... What do you mean by 10 million movie hit? Guess who's back? It's the cameraman. It's by Tala Vijay. Hey, huh? it's Talabadi Vijay. Tala Ajit and Talabadi. You're going to be beaten up by... I said Talapati No, you Vijay. said Tala. It's you heard, recorded. You heard wrongly. It's recorded. What happened to the uh, trailer that you did? Well, it had too many views. So it had some issues. Uh... People just took it off. Yes. Nee patru vai tanaru pondru. Nee patiru via tia nee rupu onru. So Gracie, this is our new segment and our new segment is all about reviewing movies and TV shows. Yeah. Spoiler alert, because we are going to talk about the movies in details. And uh, we're also going to discuss about the issues that Marcel is facing right now. All right. Uh, you don't have to show your fingers here and there. So the story is about um, the situation with healthcare. Um, so Anna Vijay, he goes through different roles um, to actually portray the importance of healthcare and why it was so important to um, him in each of the character. So um, from when he was a father. <laughs> to when he reprised the role again as the brothers okay what do you think about the romantic scenes in the movie the romantic scenes i thought it was quite well balanced hey, i'm waiting it had um, comedy it had uh, fast paced action Um, it had nice dancing um, segments. And it had a very, very good storyline. Um, I thought the pacing was really, really good. Um, I preferred the first part to the second part because the first part I thought that was really fast um, mm -hmm. when it started. Uh, when, you know, it started with um, people getting uh, disappearing from the face of the earth, you know, and people didn't know why. And then it was it was really really quick, and then it built up to give you know the history of like what happened in the first place and how all the characters were all related. And the second part, I thought it was a little bit slow because I really wanted to know what is gonna happen in the end. So I suppose, you know, I'm a little bit more impatient. So I was just waiting to see what's happening in the end. So I thought that the second part could be, you know, sharpened a little bit. But otherwise, I thought it was perfect. Everything just um, really made and uh, a build up into a very nice crescendo. So do you remember the last dialogue that it gives about GST? Yes, I remember about GST. Um, but I thought that I, I don't know whether the dialogue was a real dialogue as in you know whatever that is really happening in India um, he talked about Singapore and I'm Singaporean so um, we don't get free health care in Singapore uh, that has been the issue like most of the politicians are saying that the dialogue itself doesn't have uh, facts in it the numbers were just thrown left right center uh, but the other side of the argument uh, people are giving is like it's a movie it's a fiction movie it doesn't have to give right information so what do you say about that i think that you know because whatever that he said about singapore wasn't true i just took it like 
in good faith is a movie, is fiction. I think it would have been quite uh, impossible that the guy is brought up by a magician and he became like this guru of magic and so so if that is fake and that is fake and that is fake you know then then i doubt that there is facts in it and i don't think it matters but having said that i mean like whatever that he was saying was probably more general is a global issue healthcare is really important and uh, free healthcare would be great, but the quality of healthcare is really important as well. Um, there's free healthcare in a couple number of cities, but I don't think they're up to par. So there's one point where he said that if the officials, the government goes to those government hospitals and get treatment as well, and get treated same as um, the private citizens, whether you're poor, whether you're rich, I resonated with that. I thought that he has a clear point to that. So out of five, how many stars would you give to the movie? 